Winter in Kelloland really bites, literally. Cold weather can cause chapping, redness, itching, and all kinds of other problems for our skin. Thankfully, our next guest is here to help. Dr. Kendra Watson with Dakota Dermatology is here with advice to keep your skin healthy and glowing this winter season, even on days like today, especially days like today. Yeah, good point. <laughs> um, this weather is so hard on our bodies in so many ways, and I think, um, you know, being a dermatologist and, and being someone who counsels people on their skin every day, um, just kind of living in this weather can really take a toll on our skin. So what happens during winter like this to our skin if we aren't taking care of it? You know, primarily it's, it's the coldness and the dryness, just that low, low humidity level really leaches moisture from our skin and creates an environment where it's really hard to maintain maintain um, our skin barrier uh, that is so protective for, uh, for our skin in day-to-day -day needs. And so, yeah, it can be really hard to, really an uphill battle to maintain the, our skin health in this climate. What kind of damage have you seen in the past when people aren't taking care of their skin? You know, primarily it's um, what we call dermatitis, which is a non-specific word for inflammation of the skin. And in this weather, um, the weather alone is enough to cause this. You know, there's a whole bunch of things that can cause dermatitis, but the, uh, by far and away the most common cause that I see is just lack of moisture. And um, that can cause redness, itching, um, cracking, it can cause pain. Um, especially of our hands or any exposed body parts, but certainly our legs are very common to have those same symptoms too. Um, that's primarily what we see with this type of weather causing a dermatitis. So how can we stay moisturized? What should we be using? Yeah, you know, the main thing, and I talk to patients about this day in and day out, is really what we call a cream-based moisturizer. And what that means is, um, you know, there's moisturizers that come as a lotion, there moistur there's moisturizers that come as an ointment, there's moisturizers that come in different... Um, uh, vehicles is what we call that and really a cream is um, has the lowest amount of alcohol in it um, which is makes it a little bit thicker but it's um, and, and hard to spread but is really the most effective at moisturizing and maintaining our skin barrier um, as far as using the cream based moisturizer we really like people to use that a couple times a day um, in this in this climate or environment once immediately right when you get out of the shower and kind of the magic number is three minutes. So once you get out of the shower, we have you kind of pat dry and then um, within three minutes, um, you know, just start gopping on that cream-based moisturizer. And it can seem like a lot of surface area to cover. You know, the skin's the largest organ and um, it, it can take a couple extra minutes to your morning routine. Um, so we have you do it then and then again um, before bed at night. And so you kind of are a little bit greasy when you go into and get into your pajamas. So if we're going to be doing this multiple times a day, are you talking about our hands mostly where we're we're going to continuously be using this throughout the day. So if your hands are exposed, or if you have sensitive skin, or you're one who gets hand dermatitis, then really we have you kind of keep something with you, um, so you can do it every time. Uh, you wash your hands throughout the day, um, so really the hands should be more than twice, and the rest of the body should probably be at least twice. Okay, and you brought in some Vana cream. I did. So explain why this is a great. Um, cream-based lotion. Yeah, this is really good because it's very, very thick. Um, the nice thing about Vena Cream is it's free of a lot of fragrances and preservatives, um, and really it just has a very, very small amount of ingredients. And so that is overall um, just better tolerated by the skin um, as far as there being not a lot of things or irritants in it. What if we like to have those fun smelling I know, <laughs> I hate to take away people's small pleasures, but, but really fragrances um, kind of come along with a lot of chemicals and unusual things that our skin can interpret as kind of foreign to us. And so, um, you know, if you want to use it maybe once in a while, but not as a kind of the routine is probably what I would recommend. Um, or maybe you can like light a candle instead or yeah. something like that. <laughs> so how does water affect our skin as well? Yeah, you know, it's so hard this time of year at, because I'm the um, type of person who, you know, you're at work, you're busy during the day, um, but really it's important to take a take a break and drink, drink some water. And I think you can, you know, you really need moisture in all sorts of varieties. We talked about the cream-based moisture supplementing our skin, but drinking water Water, especially during this climate when you you know you're more focused on hunkering down and you know putting on the layers but drinking a glass of water can start to hydrate you know your mouth your lips all of the above and so it sounds simple but it's important for your skin health as well so you mentioned mouth and lips so I have to ask about this because this is such a problem area yeah. for a lot of people including me yeah how can we keep our lips moisturized you know I kind of like to keep things um, pretty basic and really what I recommend is plain Vaseline um, we talked a little bit earlier about aquaphor aquaphor is a brand name and so as long as you're getting just plain petroleum jelly like the only ingredient should be a 100% white petrolatum and that is um, very it forms a barrier so that things don't 
don't um, irritate our lips, as well as just creates a healing and moisturizing environment. I think it can be confusing because when you go to the drugstores, you see all of these chapsticks and, and like lip scrubs and all of these very savvy looking um, containers and really you want to gravitate towards those that are the most boring 100% white <laughs> petrolatum and and again you can put that on numerous times a day I know I just did before I walked in here um, certainly in the morning and then before you go to bed at night so you mentioned lip scrubs is exfoliating your body or lips okay during this time? You know, certainly not. I would never exfoliate your lips. I have seen people ask about that, which is why I brought it up. I'm not sure why someone would, you know, I think just desperation. You're so dry and you're wondering if that's what you should do, but certainly not a lip scrub. As far as um, exfoliating dry skin, um, what I like to do is more of a, um, a chemical-based exfoliant in, in a cream. There's a couple different brand names that you can look for. Amlactin is one, as well as CeraVe SA. SA stands for salicylic acid, and those are really good at just kind of getting off that top layer of skin in a way that's a little bit less irritating than um, like a sand-based exfoliant or like a stone or a scrub, per se. And as much as we all want to sit in the shower with it on the highest that it can be because it's so cold, no. why is that not good for our skin? You know, basically what that does is it um, it removes a lot of our normal oils um, from our skin, especially those hot temperatures. And I know I'm, you know, guilty as for guilty for doing this as well, but um, you know, we really want you to keep your showers kind of mildly warm and shorter than you probably um, are, you know, in the shower for. Um, you know, I think one thing if you want to, if you really want to take a, a hot shower or a hot bath, sometimes if you have dermatitis, what you can do is put Vaseline or a cream-based moisture moisturizer on your legs before you go in, and that will kind of protect your skin from, from leaching those oils out. It sounds a little bit goofy, but if you really are going to do it, then that's something that you can do before you even go in. All right, well, thank you so much, Dr. Kendra Absolutely. Watson, for coming Happy in to today. Be here.